ex-Scientologist and friend of the show, Aaron Smith Levin from the channel Growing Up Scientology got assaulted last night, guys, on Hollywood, but the cops arrested him. This footage is insane. We have Christopher Melcher to help break us down. You're not going to miss it. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We got to stick up for one of our own, Aaron Smith Levin, who you guys have seen on the channel before from the amazing channel Growing Up Scientology. Uh, at time of taping, was arrested by the LAPD after peacefully protesting uh, on the streets of Hollywood against Scientology, something our own Lewis Leckover, Nerd Report, and many others have been doing, and things got wild. Christopher, so honored to have you here. You've seen this. There, there's something fishy here. This is weird, the fact that Aaron is arrested under this. No? Oh, absolutely. And if you look at, at Aaron's stream, and you know, and it's a long stream, and you know, you directed me to the time code. It's about 29 minutes into, into Aaron's stream. But I, I watched all the time before that to kind of see what was Aaron's demeanor? What was he doing? Was he bothering people? Was he, you know, anything going on? And it was perfectly pleasant. No problem at all. He was being polite, respectful, just doing what everyone else is doing on a sidewalk. And yeah, this is a this is a bad arrest. So here's again, and, and Chris can attend. You can go watch it. Please watch the full stream. It's like a three hour, but I wanted to give you the best bits here. But please go give him a follow, a subscribe, show him some support and support the stream. But here's the moment leading up to it. All right. So here's the gentleman walking down the street. You're going to see him in the cane with the dog. Aaron sort of recognizes him because this guy allegedly has had some other incidences with prince, with post protesters. Him and his dog have been there sort of apparently scaring and attacking people. Dude. All right, man. Aaron notices it because he's very on top of this. Good journalist in figuring out all these people. He knows all the players. That's the guy who used his dog as a weapon against the squirrel squad. He hears it. He engages at that point, in my opinion, Christopher. He could have kept walking, but he stops. He hears it. He engages Are back. you the guy who used your dog as a weapon against the squirrel squad? This Huh? Don't point that at me, number one. I don't know you. I don't give a fuck about your agenda. Huh? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm a private citizen. Leave me the fuck alone for your own safety. Uh, well, I'm on a public sidewalk right here. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm, I'm not for you to be fucking harassing, asshole. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm a combat veteran, PTSD fucker. Leave me the fuck alone. I will fucking kill you. I will effing kill you if you didn't hear is what the guy says is Aaron. Now, sadly, we didn't have all the footage here. Oh, but of course we do, guys. I got all the footage here. And this is uh, props to Chris. Nerd Report and Chris out there on TikTok uh, hooked this up for us. But now we have the other angle as well, in case anybody's wondering. And, and just for the record, guys, the LAPD had access to all this footage. And we'll tell you what happens next. But I want you to see it on its own. up. So here we are playing back the footage that Chris had recorded. So this is right before the phone boom. is smashed. He swings the cane right there. He swings the cane, boom. He phone goes. That's where we lost the footage. The phone, out. phone hits the ground. Now goes after him with the cane. He's like, what the heck, dude? He's trying to get it. Now Aaron's trying to get his phone back. His phone back. And the boom. dude swipes him in the head. There's a dog attacking. He hit him in the head. Ooh. He hit him in the head right, right there. there. He did hit him in the head. You can see he hit him in the head. Dog is biting him. Let's the dog loose on him. He's Let's weaponizing the dog his dog. Let's the dog loose. Aaron never went anywhere near him. Now it's important you you see here uh, as, as all this then goes down. He then wants he, he wants to put charges. But now as we as I as I zoom ahead to some of these um, clips. I want you to see here. Oh, I had my cue. Aaron, Aaron has a big spot, a spot on his head. He shows it later. I had it cued here, but it's not. But there's a large red mark on his head that you guys can see clearly damage from, from the hit, from the cane. Um, we then progress further, and Aaron decides he wants to press charges against these guys. LAPD arrives, um, and here's that sort of instance. This guy behind him is another Scientologist who's now calling Aaron Smith out. Talk crazy. To yeah. chicks. Yeah. Not when the man is in his face. You feel me? I don't not see, not I, when the dude is in his face. I don't see a man here. Scientology forever. I Fuck Leo Remedy. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. This guy knows exactly who Aaron is. Starts attacking him. Is all up and friends with that guy with the cane. I share this just so you guys get like. There's clearly to me. I think something else is going on here. There's people in cahoots. And then the officers, after Aaron's already told him, this goes on for two hours, guys. 
Aaron's then forced to tell it again to a new officer to share the story, which he does. He then is going to show his injuries, playing it all out. He says he has Hi the footage guys. on Hi camera. Aaron's chat. Um, shows him the Y'all injury on his real? head. The, mark, the red mark. Uh, all this goes on. And then we learn here, this officer brings him over. Did I include in the report uh, his threatening to kill me and the others? I should put, I should put that in the report. So, um, just so if you would like... Uh, the fellow arrested for the battery. Yes. Um, we have no problem uh, facilitating a private person's arrest. Yes. With you being that private person. Yes. Um, at, at which point you will be required to go to court to make certain that you follow through with sure. those elements of the, of, of the arrest. So you have to do a private citizen arrest. He'll have to follow through the courts. You got it. Um, at the same time, um, listening to his, his uh, clarification of his side of the fact, Listening to his, though, the other person's side of the fact. I always say there's, Aaron, I always say there's three sides of every story. There are three sides to every story. In case you can't hear it, I know it's a little soft. What you say, what he said, and it's something in between. Okay. He's saying there's three sides. Meanwhile, it's all on tape, Christopher, which they know. And they're ignoring the tape to listen to this crazy guy with the cane, who they have already, I think they saw the beginning of the attack. Okay, so just so you know, and he's saying that um, um, he repeatedly, you were following him around. He repeatedly told you to leave. Let me finish before you interject. I'm not going to interject. What's up, guys? How's it going, Norm? Good. How are you? Good, good to see you. Um, that um, he, he repeatedly told you to stop following him around. He was not a member of the Church of Scientology. And you continued to accost him with... Can you open um, it for me? Go ahead. You continue to try to accost him with uh, the I'm camera gonna do and got up in his face. And uh, so False. We just You just saw the footage. That's false. Just so you know those... I think it's just, that, right? Go ahead. I'm listening, sir. We... Um, we ran that fire to Texas, and those are actually elements of, of stalking. That's so, adorable. Yeah, stalking. But uh, that, that comes from our detective that's, that's uh, taking all that we are giving him, and he's disseminating all of our information. Well, is the detective here? Uh, the detective's at the station. Did you send him the video? Detective's at the station, not even there. And could have been watching the video, Christopher. This detective knows it's on. A, he's literally live as it's happening. Could have surfed through, watched the footage, made sure he did the right thing, but he didn't. Anyway, long story short, they end up retaining Aaron. Look, they're eyeballing him right stalking. there. He's coming they're eyeballing him. He's noticing it's about to happen. Uh, they, they basically tell him you're going to get arrested. Well, we'll be certain in a moment. Here we go. You ready? That's why and they, they get all down. these officers ready. Yeah, they're all ready because they know one. this Here, could turn this. into something ugly. Uh -huh. Oh, there's Aaron back there. I need to get a better cameraman next time. But Aaron's back in the top right. You'll see him there. His hat. Getting handcuffed after being assaulted by someone who I think was working with Scientology. And now being cuffed and put into the, into the, into the squad car. This is insane. I say arresting Aaron. They're arresting Aaron. Uh, and there he is, put in the car. I think we have one more shot here as they all exit back. Uh, sorry, make sure I have, you see the. I want. I want to make give Aaron the shot. It's, it's, I think it's the only way to help. There he is. You guys, on a squad don't worry car, about it. Handcuffed. We got the facts on our MF side. Christopher, this is wild. They're frisking him. It's all on tape. He told them it was all on tape. What is your, as you watch this, and you've seen the clip, and the LAPD could have gotten the clip as well. What is your reaction to this? Oh, it's, it's completely a bad arrest. And so, you know, just kind of uh, looking at it from a legal standpoint. Um, so th this this crime of stalking that they arrested him for, you heard that other officer tell him, uh, hey, you know, we got a report that you were following, you know, that Aaron was following him and, uh, you know, and repeatedly told to leave. And he says, that's that's the elements of stalking. Well, that's wrong. The elements of stalking are in, California Penal Code 646.9A, which says, yes, following, but also making a credible threat of violence against the individual, which places that person in reasonable fear for their safety. So the officer who affected this arrest didn't even know the elements of the crime because, uh, you know, as he stated, it was just following. That gentleman there didn't, doesn't understand the law. The other thing is, is that the police are not able to make what's called a warrantless arrest, meaning without a, a arrest warrant issued by a judge for a misdemeanor. So a low level crime, they cannot make an arrest uh, without a warrant by the judge if that low level crime, the misdemeanor occurred outside their presence. 
okay, like this didn't, they didn't witness it. So it's a, it's a warrantless arrest for a misdemeanor occurred outside their presence. There are a few exceptions like domestic violence obviously doesn't apply here where they can do that. So they have no authority to arrest him. The only authority that they would have to place him under arrest like they're doing now is under Penal Code 847, which is receiving someone who has been arrested by another private person. So that other guy would have had to effect an arrest and, um, and then call the police and then have the police receive, you know, his arrestee, Aaron. And that's that. So the police have the authority to do that, but only if the police determine that there's reasonable cause to make that arrest, that hmm. a crime has been committed. So they don't have so, to do it just because the other guy's like, well, I press charges too. So arrest them. They don't have to based on the evidence that was clearly here. They could have said, no, sorry, we have that, video that, here that shows you did it. So, if, you know, if any of you listening or ever in a situation like that, at least under California law, you know, first of all, that private person has to affect the arrest, which I didn't see happen here. Second of all, the um, under Penal Code 847, the officer has to make a determination whether there's reasonable cause to believe that crime was committed. If they, uh, you know, have made that inquiry and determined there's no reasonable cause, they cannot do anything. Uh, only if they find that there's reasonable cause can they then decide, OK, am I going to release the guy? I'm going to cite the guy or am I going to take him before a magistrate? So they decided the most extreme uh, situation here without having the elements of a crime um, to, to take him before a magistrate without looking at the video, which obviously would have shown the whole thing, obviously would have shown that the other guy had committed the crime. I mean, it was clear. Uh, there was no stalking. The other guy didn't even know Aaron. He's like, who are you? Obviously. So he couldn't have been, yeah, exactly. contacting yeah. him, you know, around he the did, And that's a lie. He knew who he was. Cause I, he clearly was working for, I think Scientology. Exactly. Yeah. Continue. But that's, that's if, if he was going to say, Oh, the Aaron was following me earlier in the day. It's not on tape officer. Well, that's wrong. Cause his own statement uh, says, who are you? Why are you following me? Kind of stuff like that. And obviously he was the aggressor. There's no question that guy committed, uh, an assault and should have been the one arrested. So um, again, this is a very bad arrest by LAPD. They, they uh, don't have liability for making a private, you know, for receiving somebody who's been arrested uh, by a private person on condition that there's reasonable cause for them to believe the crime occurred. So here, I, I think that there could be some liability. I hope he does go after them because. Right. Cause now Aaron uh, could go after LAPD, right? Yeah, under the under this limited circumstance where he's saying, look, everything's on tape. Um, there's witnesses also. And they completely ignored all that. And then what's most important is that other officer on tape saying, well, look, uh, we're we're getting a complaint against you, Aaron, that you have uh, committed this crime of stalking. But then he says the elements of the crime are following when the when it's when you need the credible threat of violence on top of that, which clearly didn't happen. So I would say this is a bad arrest. I think he should take action. Um, and, and like I say, a lot of times LAPD is going to kind of kiss these off and try and tell both people like, hey, go make your complaint. You can, you can take it, you know, before a detective and maybe they'll submit it for filing. But we're not taking we're not going hands on and taking anyone into custody like this. There was no reason to do that. Um, so, you know, most of these are not custodial arrests that are happening anyway for misdemeanors. There's side outs in the field. So this is highly unusual. Um, it could be just chalk it up for complete stupidity on the part of the LAPD, which is always a possibility that they're just completely ignorant. Um, or like, you know, maybe you're going to say that there's something else going on. Well, yeah, one, I want one more clip I want to play you. This here's Streets LA of our Nerd Report. If you guys aren't following Nerd Report over on TikTok and YouTube, if you like this case, he's been on it really well. And we were while we were taping, he I, I got to chime in. I'm on TikTok there as well. We're, we try to get more on there. But uh, we asked him because he's someone who really he's been long time following for the rights of the people out there against the police. And we asked him quickly about that. When you look at the law for stalking, it requires repeated instances of following somebody along with a criminal threat. <laughs> Aaron just got here. He did not follow this guy multiple times, nor did he make a criminal threat. Therefore, he doesn't, I don't know what the code is, 698.2, I think. I don't even know. Don't quote mm. me on that. But it doesn't meet the code for, for 
what it says in stalking. This he should not be getting booked right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. The video evidence, his own video, corroborates his story. It doesn't. There is nothing that corroborates any sort of criminal threats, let alone stalking. So yeah, no, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's Thank you. Ridiculous. Thank you, but. And then I asked, like, does the does he think the LA PD yeah, is working with Scientology? The cop who arrested him is a, is a sign is a guy who had come to Scientology before to try to get me to leave. I didn't. He left, came back, parked his car, and then stood across the street watching me for a half an hour. The same cop, the same cop who was just on the roof right there. Wow, that's crazy, man. Man, this is they're dirty, man. Corruption at his best. So yeah, do I think that they're in cahoots with the LAPD? Absolutely. And they. They've called, the, they've called the cops like 18 times at least. They no, I would say it's somewhere around 22 now. Remember I gave you the... Yeah, so Scientology is getting a lot of heat right now because people are starting to go out with LA's uh, Scientology audit. A lot of people on TikTok have started to go, you know what, let's put the pressure on, let's go outside and film it. They're starting to feel it and they're doing these threats. They're putting in all these things to trying to get the cops on their side and, and, it, and it's starting to open up and expose things, I think. What are your thoughts, Christopher, on all this? Is this a good idea? Do you think they're going to start sweating? Well, you know, I mean, look, who knows what what impact it has, but that's the right of everyone is on, you know, they're on a public sidewalk and they can videotape, they can be there, they can do whatever they want and they're they're not subject to arrest. So to the extent that LAPD was motivated to um, deter, you know, Aaron and other people from exercising that right, then then, then that's a violation of their, their rights under the First Amendment. So it is deeply concerning to me that the arrest happened under those circumstances for those reasons that I just described. So, you know, we know from the uh, Danny Masterson case when there was, you know, discovery or information that was received that there were connections between LAPD and Scientology. We saw the emails uh, even inside one of the Scientology centers. There was, there was some kind of like LAPD info booth. Oh, no, I think it was, I'm sorry, it was in the Hollywood station. I got that backwards. In the Hollywood LAPD station, some kind of info booth for Scientology. So there are, there are documented connections between LAPD. And, and like I say, I, my charitable view is, you know, or a charitable explanation is, is that uh, the officer that called a shot on there just absolutely had no idea what he was doing. And that, that can be true sometimes, even though it's hard to believe. But um, it, when you put that on top of the fact that they had so many other options, they could have cited and released him and said, fine, we'll scratch out a ticket for uh, misdemeanor stalking and you'll appear before a judge, Aaron, and, and let him go. Like most people, I tell you, you could rob any of those stores and you're going to get cited out, you're not going to get hard booked. So that when you put all that together and then you, when you look at the amount of officers that were there, you know, that was all being streamed the whole time. Aaron stayed there and that went on for, you know, he said like over an hour or something like that where they're trying to figure this out. Two, and, three, and I would about say, two, three hours. Yeah. yeah. It's and a I, lot I of resources like, for, um, for a little scuffle on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most of the time, kind of better probably not to hang around because weird stuff like this could happen. But Aaron, you know, hung out and talked and, and waited. But when you look at the amount, there's there's probably a good 10 officers and they've got their batons out. They're kind of, you know, doing a, a swarm around um, Aaron to make sure that nobody would intervene and, and try and take him back from police custody. But I didn't see any any reason for that level of response. I mean, obviously, they'll determine what they need for their own officer safety. But there was nobody shouting, swearing, nope. making threats like, let him go. How could you do this? Aaron was even saying like, hey, I think they're going to come arrest me. And he was totally calm about it. He could have probably should have walked looks away. looks extremely excessive. Yeah. It, 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 it's like I say. It's like they were nervous to do it. <laughs> Honestly, well, when I look you know, at this. Yeah. It, it, it's it's really overblown. And and you figure like, hey, if you got all that that uh, horsepower out there, maybe one of those people could have looked at the videotape. Just <laughs> exactly. saying. Right? Um, you know, so he's got a, a potential case against even LAPD, you think, at this point. Yeah, I do. I do. And, you know, look, I mean, I'm I'm generally supportive of, of the police. And, and but I think in this instance, they completely got it wrong. And um, there needs to be accountability for that. They can't just go and take somebody's word 
that a crime committed and put somebody else in custody based on that when there's video evidence that, like I said, it took you seconds to show that. Um, and they yeah. arrested the wrong person. And I kind of think that with that show of force, with when you put all the facts together, to me, it seems like there was a motivation here by LAPD to try to discourage um, people like Aaron from going out there and continuing what he was doing. I think it's going to do the opposite. And I hope this can op open up a case where we can see are the LAPD getting favors by re responding to all these Scientology things. At a certain point, you'd think they'd say enough already. You're, you're calling too much with exaggerated claims. Uh, no, they seem to almost be there to help them. And uh, I, I don't get it. I haven't seen anything threatening or hurting Scientology except for the brand of exposing what they're doing and the right to protest. So it'll be very interesting what happens. Uh, we, we, I, at time of taping, Aaron was still arrested last night. Hopefully he'll be there. Please go check out Growing Up Scientology. I'm sure he'll post an update as soon as he's back in. Uh, but this was crazy last night. And kudos to Chris, Streets LA, uh, Lewis, everybody out there covering this. Go support them. Go follow Nerd Report and everybody following this and keep us posted. Uh, we'll keep you updated here. And Christopher, always a pleasure. Thank you. Watch our Alec Baldwin video from this morning. You guys didn't watch it. I guess you guys don't care about that topic, but it was fascinating. So check it out and also follow Christopher over on Twitter at CA underscore divorce. Always a pleasure, sir. Thank you guys again. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. You know all the gist by now. The like and send Aaron your support and love. Hopefully he's out by now, but we'll keep you posted tomorrow. Check out his channel for an update. Thank you guys so much for watching.